So what we have here is a uh, cylinder of ice, a solid cylinder of ice with a chain embedded in the middle of it. I made this cylinder of ice with the chain by just sticking a chain in a bit of PVC pipe with some water and letting it freeze overnight. I chipped away a bit of the ice at the end so I could hook the chain over these two hooks which were attached to these uh, freestanding columns on either side. So what I'm trying to do is to replicate something like the uh, buckling of the trusses in the World Trade Center. The floor trusses were heated from below and they, they sagged down as they lost their structural strength and they pulled in the exterior wall of the World Trade Center, which in part led to the eventual collapse. I'm going to speed this up a little bit here because uh, nothing much happens for the first few minutes. The cylinder remains pretty stiff. It just drips a bit of water and nothing, uh, nothing moves for the first uh, uh, five minutes or so. Uh, I put in a bit of ice here just so you can see the ice melting and then I'm going to add a clock. Uh, this is about five minutes in so it's sorted at 25 to 12. Back to real time here and uh, watch the link on the right hand side. Uh, there's going to be a failure there and there it goes. Now that was a little fall, it pulled in the, the columns a bit but not really that much. I'm going to speed it up again now. I think what's interesting here is just how gradual this deformation is. This is sped up 20 times and you can see the uh, the ice uh, cylinder is just really slowly kind of creeping downwards. Now we're back to real time so you can actually see the movement of the column on the right leaning being pulled in in real time and the deformation of the ice cylinder. It's interesting the cylinder is actually still pretty stiff and you'll see in a second when the right hand column falls it will actually push the left hand column over because of the stiffness of the, the ice connection. It doesn't really break until it falls there and everything shatters. Here's a close up look at uh, that final moment. You can see the column on the right hand side leaning in. I don't really see any cracks in the ice. It almost seems like it's just bending. It's obviously gradually losing its stiffness uh, which is why it's moving in so slowly. It's not uh, not fracturing, it is actually bending. Just getting gradually less and less stiff. So I think that if I'd fixed the column on the left uh, so it couldn't move, then it would actually have resisted at this point the movement of the column on the right, causing the uh, gradual curvature to uh, just continue quite smoothly. Uh, well, maybe I'll try that next time.